while we're recording the process of uh, creation of the virtual setup in Maestro 3D version 4. Uh, the chief compliance are crowding on the upper and lower arches. Uh, the doctor also wants me to improve the uh, depth of the bite and uh, improve the collusional contacts. Uh, okay, let's see what we can do. Um, I always, uh, in, in such cases with the crowding, I always start with the expansion. So we're limited in space and we need to create some. So the first way of uh, obtaining some space in that large is expansion. So I don't expand uh, the second molars because uh, the liners are just limited to uh, in, in, in uh, moving these teeth towards the buccal direction. The only predictable uh, movement for the second molars is uh, distalization. I mean with the liners of course with just the liners without any auxiliary things. Well now we are expanding the insiders and here we should keep the roots inside the bone so don't exceed this uh, don't put the roots outside of the bone and um, we set the central rotation in the middle of the root and um, for this case I would not um, exceed the ratio between rotation and torque so that uh, the rotation should be always uh, not uh, higher than the torque degree so if I want to if, if so, if, if I'm proclining for let's say 13 degrees, I should not rotate for more than 13 degrees, otherwise the movement will be more bodily, more translational, rather than uh, combined uh, like tipping and uh, rotation. So the rotation has less chances to be, to has less chances to happen for real. So we need to keep in this in mind as well. So make some expansion rotation doesn't exceed the torque which is actually a lingual vestibular tipping well then here it's exceed a little bit but um, the roots are pretty short uh, and the uh, liners will work better for such cases Well, now let's go to the upper jaw and do the same. We make some expansion of the first molars of the premolars. I combine the tipping movement and the translation. I don't understand uh, and the. These gaps are maintaining. Okay, doesn't matter. We'll try to close them. We can move not more than two teeth uh, distally at the same time, so that we always have uh, to have an anchorage. Now we're expanding the upper frontal teeth as well as the lower ones and we'll check the contacts between the upper and lower teeth so that we have some sagittal gap so the lower teeth can be proclined without the interference this is a, this is the first layer the first stage 
Well... Looks good. Of course there are some gaps, uh, but if we want to uh, improve those rotations to make the rotations more predictable we always have to combine the rotation and tipping to perform the, the, this uh, so-called round tripping um, and um, this way we can rotate up to I don't know 45 degrees without any attachments any auxiliary stuff like chains, buttons, elastics and etc. Well, uh, let's go to the Slayer 2 and start with the upper jaw. So we are closing these caps. We retract the teeth, combining the retraction with the uh, Palatal tipping. If we make bottle retraction, we will have to put uh, power ridges, those uh, special like, negative attachments. Okay. Let's go to the lower arch. Don't forget to create a new layer. So now we retract the frontal teeth to and, and, and also we finalizing the rotations. Uh-huh. Well, let's remove the gum to see the roots better. So we're aligning the insiders. Well done. Not much IPR. well and let's see how the upper and lower teeth match so here we can adjust the canines and uh, lateral insider should go a little bit more palatally well done Yep. So we live in some small sagittal gap. Uh -huh, here we see some interference and let's see how can we fix it. Uh, first of all, uh, the doctor asked us to improve the depth of the bite so that we will perform some intrusion for like, uh, let's see, for one five millimeters approximately it's absolutely easily achievable for liners well see the axes are not perfectly aligned but there is n no chance to improve this axis with uh, just the liners maybe we can play with some special Invisalign like uh, attachments let's see farther or maybe I just asked the doctor to make some countering to reduce the anatomy of this part of the tooth well let's first finish with the contacts Okay. What if we move these insiders more this way? 
Aha, I see. We retracted. We made um, too much of uh, the lingual tipping. So that let's combine the tipping with the uh, bodily movements to improve the torque of the roots. But if we do, we will also need those uh, negative attachments. Uh, Invisalign so-called power ridges. Wow. I think it's almost good now. Let's uh, make some final adjustments. I uh, don't like the difference of the torque here, so let's improve it a little bit. And now uh, let's um, check if we need some overcorrection. Here the right upper lateral incisor, it was a little bit uh, like forward, so that we need to put it more backwards. We need to make some overcorrection in this area. Uh -huh. Let's proceed to the center incisors. I think we also need some overcorrection of this part of the tooth. We need to put the mesial edge a little more palatally. And we distribute the IPR between the surfaces of the old frontal teeth. Uh -huh. um, this tooth was a little bit outwards of the dental arch so that we have to put it a little bit more inwards. This is very important. So we need to make the overcorrection like 10, from 10 to 15 percent. So here we have three options. We can make some experimental mm, work on the improving the axis or we can just ask the doctor to cut the edges and this is what I usually do honestly because it's more predictable uh, here we can make some intrusion of the canines intrusion of the canines is not the simplest thing for clear liners but if we make it at the separate layer uh, it should work for some degree so at the layer one we don't intrude the insiders but we intrude the canines and at the layer two we intrude only the insiders uh-huh mm -hmm. let's see the contacts now looks better yep maybe should reduce this over correction to improve the bite well looks good um, yeah I think the doctor will like this virtual setup so let's place the attachments um, I would reduce this tipping I don't really like how it looks so we reduce it at the first layer and at the second layer as well well this is a compromise case so we don't try to make it super ideal because it's a liners it's a, it's a short compromise case and the main goal for us is to uh, make the patient like this and uh, like his uh, new smile well maybe we should improve the canines position a little bit and distribute those 
gaps more evenly so that we reduce the IPR okay then so let's proceed to the attachments so where making an, an intrusion at the lower arch I don't know why it's not working uh -huh, I see uh, we're making an intrusion on the uh, lower arch so that we need those attachments for some additional anchorage since we intrude four insiders at the same time we need not less than four retentive attachments and I put them on the premolars making sure that they do not interfere the up upper teeth there should be some room between uh, the crowns of the upper teeth and the attachments on the lower arch well, and let's put some retentive uh, attachments on the upper arch as well. Let it be the first premolars. And the first molars. The first molars have uh, pretty big crowns, so that I don't think they need some additional retention, but just for some or protection will put some ellipsoid attachments uh, the horizontal ones well I don't forget to put the numbers to distinguish the models between it, uh, each other well now let's see if we rotate it the canines for some major degree uh, for some significant degree yes we have a rotation of the uh, upper left canine for almost 15 degrees uh, and to allow this to happen we should add some attachments I prefer those triangular ones and set for all layers upper jaw set for all layers lower jaw set uh, for all layers and now if we go back to the layer one the attachments are present aha uh -huh. and we also need the uh, negative attachments the power ridges to help to Destruction of the insiders. I don't like to make them too big. I don't need the big ones. Just uh, 1.1, 1.2 millimeters in the scale Z. And don't forget to uh, uh, make sure that it's a negative attachment, not a, just a regular attachment. Because we don't um, bond these attachments to the teeth. Um, and the uh, same for the lower insiders. Once we are satisfied with the shape and the dimensions, we can copy paste those attachments well let's see if we need some negative attachments at the layer one I think yes I think we do because um, I want to help 
those rotations of the lateral incisors on the lower arch I think they will work better if we create some additional uh, point of uh, the force application negative and same here closer to the missile edge well uh, almost done let's go to the models builder module and see how many liners do we need to produce I start with the lower arch uh, let's see the numbers uh, the distance uh, so we move in the um, sizers canines here so I think we should reduce the numbers to not more than 250 microns per liner at the layer 1 and the rotation is uh, not more than 1.6 the intrusion is 0 0.1 for the canines, which is quite safe. And layer 2, we can be a little bit quicker, so we can go up to 0 0.3 millimeters. In case if we use the standard um, thickness of liners, 0 0.75 to 0 0.8. So 19 liners for the lower arch, and let's see how many we plan for the upper here we have uh, pretty big roots of the canines so that we should reduce the speed of our movements uh, they should not exceed 0 0.2 uh, at the stage of uh, expansion and in the stage of retraction we can be a little bit faster personally I prefer to synchronize uh, the quantity of aligners between the upper and lower jaw so that here we will uh, choose number 10 we could use uh, we might use the uh, we could we, we might produce uh, only nine aligners here because we are fine with the, because we're fine with the numbers uh, we can go up to 0 0.3 uh, the layer of uh, retraction but we will act a little bit slower so that we have a uh, more even quantity of aligners more even steps of the alignment of the lower uh, lower and upper uh, teeth now let's uh, see the animation if you like it So, some small expansion, round tripping, and retraction, and uh, finalizing the uh, small imperfections at the final stage. Well done. Let's uh, export this setup and show it to our uh, customer who ordered this setup from me. Thank you for watching.